with that. I just got really paranoid about whether or not my microphone was recording correctly. <clears throat> I was just about to tell you that I ordered a new microphone. Um, my microphone is kind of on the fritz. Uh, and... I ordered a new one. I ordered, uh, I'm using a blue snowball, and I ordered a Yeti. So, I, like, I thought about getting a Yeti when I got the snowball, but, um, it, that is a major, major investment, because the Yetis are like $130. But I figured, you know what, I'll get a snowball and see how happy I, see how much I enjoy it. Uh, and I've been really, really happy with my snowball to the point where now that it, I think it's time to get a new microphone, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade to the Yeti. So um, my Yeti, I just got an email notification that my Yeti has been delivered. Unfortunately, it's not here where I'm living because I forgot to change the address settings in Amazon, so it went to my uh, mom's house. But that's okay, I'll just get it later. Not that having it right this particular second would help this recording any, because uh, I'm not going to sit there and change microphones in the middle of recording. But I did want to make sure that my microphone was actually... Uh, not causing gibberish because that's a problem I've been running into there's three switches on the back of the blue snowball one of them is basically the you're speaking directly into it the second one is you're speaking directly into it but with a minus 10 decibel gain for recording really loud sounds or instruments or something <laughs> how can they do that is there a dome over the city like it looks like there's open sky right there Well, that sounds like a problem. Um, and the third one is omnidirectional. It's like if you're interviewing someone, or you've got multiple people, or you're playing like live music or something. Uh, sometimes when I go to record, it'll be incredibly garbled, and I have to switch the... I, if I switch it from 1 to 3 and then back to 1, it fixes it, but it's becoming... I, I've, like, lost meh, several recordings because of that, and I, I think it's just time to get a new microphone. So, they're going to do a uh, total recall here on Holy Town. They're going to cut the air off. Uh, so, we have to stop them. Um, other demons, by the way, if you want to, like, go for, other demons that you want to go for, necessary, uh, might want to go for, uh, Hakushin Chernabog might be a good demon to go for as well. I prefer Kuklain because he knows Tarukaja. Let me see. So, hold on. Let me do the math here, because I might need to make... So, I have four empty spaces, right? Alright, alright. I got Parvati, Kukulain, uh, the guy I'm going to rank Cyclops up into, and then I'll have Shiva. And then I'll have Anubis in the background. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. No, that's exactly what I want. Uh, this is the wrong area. But, anyway, these demons can carry you throughout the rest of the game.
And right this second, I need to go to the shop real quick. So we need to go back to... Is it Shinjuku? I want to say it's Shinjuku. Uh, let's go ahead and visit the garage. Alright, get everybody back up to full MP and get out of here. I'll sell all my excess stuff. I want a, a couple of extra screw lances, I think. So I'll sell all that, and I'll sell the screw lance that I got too, because I'm never going to use it. I don't need to use it. So we need to go to Shinjuku here. I find it interesting that they made a um, a terminal network for Millennium and they just built it on top of the old one that was in place before. <clears throat> so... Like, the old one still works. Alright, so at noon we want to... We're gonna sell these. Uh, we don't need this. This. We want to keep that. Alright, so I have nine of these. No, I have two of those. I have five of those. How many of these do I have? Five. Alright, so I need seven of these. Four of these. Four of these. And I'll get two Kentans. I'll buy one more stack of Haranyas, and that should do me for now. The reason I'm buying the Haranyas uh, is that so, so that I can use uh, Divine Retribution more than once. Because he... Anubis only has enough MP to use it once. So let's sort this. Alright. Alright, so I have... 9, 18, I have lots of orbs, I have enough magic stones, like, I feel like orbs are more common than magic stones in this game. So yeah, that's, that's good. I'll go ahead and buy 8 more Haranyas, since I've already got that one. And then that'll conclude our buying. And then I'll hold on to the rest of my money for later, because we might want to buy more armor, uh, new guns, whatever. Alright. So now we gotta head to the center. And to do that, we need to go to... Either factory or... Well, any of the things, and we, but we gotta walk back to the center, unfortunately. We can't just... Can't just teleport directly there. Oh, where am I going? The exit's over there. I 
I'm really glad that they got rid of the whole mag thing, like, in SMT 3 and 4, because... And the whole fact that it costs money and all this to summon your demons. Wait. Oh, this is the town. Okay, no, I know where I'm going now. I got lost for a second. We want to go into this building. Yeah. Alright, we want to go sh... want to go straight. Up and around. Go through this door and then this way. I probably should have actually gotten a demon that knows uh, what is that spell called? The the repel spell. It's basically repel from Pokemon. <laughs> but I didn't. So there's nothing we can do about it. We'll just let uh, Hiroko there take the man eaters out with her Fergus sword. Something about the music on this world map always makes me think there's a there's like another open instance of the game. Like it feels like to my ears, it sounds like there's another uh, copy of the same song going on in the background, and it it messes with my head every single time. So this is the first time we've been able to get back into center uh, since we've had Hiroko in our party. So let's go visit her parents. They're on the 21st floor, right? No. Oh, I love the Terminators. The Terminators are amazing. <laughs> I've got a knight in full plate, dual-wielding shotguns with a jetpack. That's amazing. So I need to get my... Let's go ahead and get my strength up to 30 base. And then we'll worry about the rest. This must be the floor where the control panel is, yeah. Two seven eight four. All right. So, if you remember way back at the beginning of the game, we already have the passcode for the twenty-first floor. We got that in the bar. It's five two six one.
Hmm. Well, that's... That's pretty sketch. So... I'll explain what's going on with that when we actually get further in the game. Uh... I need to actually get my map of this place up. Because the center is actually really, 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 really confusing! Alright, so we're on the 20th floor currently, right? The demons on this floor are not uh, dangerous at all. Alright, so, I want to go to the exit here, and we want to head to the west. I've already taken you up to the 21st floor, uh, but we didn't go any further because we couldn't. I've actually never tried it. I wonder if you can, in fact, like if you know the code from earlier, from, from later in the game, I wonder if you can go even higher and what happens. I imagine you get barred by a wall or something. There's a talking wall up in the up in the high areas. So, I mean That's a wall. I just ran into that wall. I don't know if I'll get a chance to talk to that guy again, but later on, uh, that guy actually gets passed over for going to the uh, Thousand Year Kingdom, and he's like, God is wrong. God made a mistake. There's something... <laughs> I could have swore I took you up here and showed you the... Uh... If I didn't, I apologize. Uh, if you come up here earlier in the game, you can learn the uh, you can learn the passcode in the bar on the 20th floor. And if you come up here, there is um, an area called the arsenal, which you can look at the stats of a lot of law-specific equipment. And there is a merchant up here that sells stuff. So, and it's through this door right here. I'm not going to go in there right now, though. There's the, uh... The power. So, this is where I was going to get the power from that I talked about earlier. They really did not do a good job balancing the random encounters in this game. Uh, or the first game. They did a little better job in this game, but both games you either get destroyed or you destroy your enemy. There is no middle ground. <clears throat> Gyrator? <clears throat> I'm not ready for that. Uh, let's see, we need to go... This way. All these doors I'm passing are empty. So this is where the you need the code, I think. Okay, so I'm not really sure where you get this code right here. Uh, 
but I happen to know that it is zero uh, nine two zero. Like I know where you. It, this is an optional area. You are not required to come in here. If you come in here, you actually see this is the lab area where uh, you've been flashbacking to. But if you come in here, you can see a extra little scene. <laughs> so the four others he's talking about are Zane, Gimmo, uh, Beth, and Daleth. <clears throat> So if you know where the passcode for this place is, let me know, and I'll leave a comment, and let everybody know, and I will annotate it in the uh, video description. That way, if your comment ever disappears, gets eaten by YouTube, I've seen that happen a bunch. <coughs> your knowledge will be preserved. At least until the internet collapses and all the inf like data and stuff on YouTube goes away. Going first and being able to shock lock an entire enemy screen of enemies. Enemy screen of enemies. I English good. <coughs> Is but it's really broken. These robots are actually fairly dangerous. Uh, the Medusas, I do believe, can actually uh, petrify you. They do something that can mess you up. That's one of the reasons why I approach the game the way I do. Uh, okay, so they stop you here. If you, so even you, you can't get up to put the this code in, uh, which was two seven eight four. All right, and we are now on the twenty second floor. I need to go this way. <clears throat> hey, a plasma sword. That is a law only weapon. We're going to go ahead and summon Kukulain, Anubis, and Parvati. And I guess this Cyclops. I'm not particularly worried about it because I have precisely all of the mag.
Well, there's the train. Uh, we are supposed to go just down this hall, right? Mm -hmm. 